Despite claiming in his most recent Netflix show that he didn't have a support structure when he returned from tour, the prince provided insight into the psychological care he was afforded in a 2016 interview with Spy News. Written by Catherine Mayhir Fiennellel, a royal reporter based in London, and Emil Eifer Gyusan, a digital royal editor with five years of expertise creating news agendas and deeply examining the monarchy's daily operations in print, web, and television. Despite his recent assertions in his new Netflix series that he received no assistance when he returned from his military tour, Prince Harry has spoken about the psychological treatment he received after serving in Afghanistan in a 2016 interview. The Duke of Sussex served in Afghanistan for two tours, the first in 2007 to 2008, and the second in 2012 to 2013. These experiences led him to launch the Invictus Games in 2014. The competition enables ill and injured service members to compete for sporting success. The 2023 Games are scheduled to begin on September 9 in Dusseldorf, Germany. Harry stated that the Army does provide some support to those returning from the front line in 2016. When he appeared with Invictus Games competitors at a primary school in Wokingham, Berkshire, ahead of the competition in Orlando, Florida. This appears to be in stark contrast to what he stated in his new Netflix documentary, Heart of Invictus. On the way back through Cyprus, the army made you go through a day-long course that was essential to everyone, he claimed. Harry said, you know, I once described it to someone as one of those mental slideshows. It's always in there, and if you have dark moments in your life, those slides will pop up, the speaker said. It's always in there, and if you have a good imagination as well, everything that you see, especially if it's something that is quite powerful, then that slide is in there. Yes, there is a portion of what they go through that I can connect to completely. You know, there are photos I've been fortunate enough not to see, but there have also been images I've been unfortunate enough to view. These images are nothing like what some of these guys have experienced. His words seem to go against what he mentioned in Heart of Invictus, when he indicated that after returning from his final tour of duty in Afghanistan, he received no support from anyone around him. He asserted that he lacked a support structure to assist him in managing his mental health issues, which culminated in 2012 when he returned from the tour. The Duke claimed that his mother's death was never discussed and that he only became aware of the trauma of losing her when he returned from Afghanistan. Princess Diana died when the Duke was 12 years old. He stated, There was an unraveling. Returning from Afghanistan was actually the catalyst for me. However, the material that emerged was older. It dated back to 1997 and was aimed at 12-year-olds. I was never fully cognizant of the trauma I had from losing my mother at such a young age. No one ever talked about it. The biggest challenge for me was that no one could actually help, Harry continued. I lacked the network, the support system, and the professional insight to see what was really wrong with me. When a 2017 interview with Harry aired, he revealed to Bryony e. Gordon that Prince William and a number of his close friends had convinced him to seek counseling in order to cope with the effects of his mother's passing. His comments in the Netflix series also seemed to further unravel. He recalled their words, Look, you really need to deal with this, when they had advised him. To believe that nothing has affected you is not normal. Additionally, Harry stated on the Mad World podcast that his mental health issues were not Afghanistan-related and were instead brought on by his mother's passing. Heart of Invictus, a new documentary by Harry Arshoel, debuted on Netflix yesterday, August 30, a year before the 2023 Games. The five-part series follows the athletes, the organizers, and even Harry as they go to The Hague for the 2020 Invictus Games. 
Harry, who serves as the show's executive producer, discusses the importance of Invictus for the competitors and their families in the trailer, which debuted earlier this month. He declared, The games really focus on the recovery and how to be part of a community again. It doesn't focus on what causes the injury. Harry is later shown addressing contestants and remarking that everyone will struggle at some point. 